Seismic events cause building structures to move significantly more than ordinary thermal movements. Expansion and contraction perpendicular to the joint opening is known as the x-axis movement. Movement parallel to expansion joints occur when structures experience longitudinal shear. This parallel movement is referred to as the y-axis movement. Vertical shear between structures is called the z-axis movement. Vertical exterior seismic joints must be fully integrated into the structure's exterior envelope, presenting unique aesthetic and structural challenges. To overcome this myriad of design issues, MM Systems engineers developed the SRW, Seismic Recessed Wall System. SRW accommodates severe seismic movement by incorporating several highly engineered design features. To prevent panel damage, a seismic slide ramp elevates during extreme x-axis closing movement. A heavy-duty structural hinge allows panel rotation during x and y-axis movement. A special recoil mechanism is engineered and calibrated to resist opening due to negative pressure wind loads then releases the panel during X, Y, and Z movement, and finally, returns the panel to its normal position after seismic activity cease. SRW integrates inconspicuously into the building envelope, providing a structurally sound and aesthetically pleasing solution. During finalization of design bid documents, MM Systems works closely with the design team by preparing project-specific shop drawings. After completion of schematics and detailed design drawings, MM engineers construct a full-scale working mock-up, including the seismically actuated recoil mechanism. To demonstrate proper structural design and code compliance, every component of the SRW system is calced by an independent third-party structural engineer. Seismically designed structures require sophisticated and highly engineered roof joint systems. Y-axis movement is more severe at roof elevations than at ground level. Expansion and contraction movement, known as the X-axis movement, occurs perpendicular to the direction of the expansion joint. During an actual seismic event, structures may experience combination movement in both the X and Y axes. To solve the problem of combination movements, MM engineers developed a unique seismic glide track system that allows for X, Y, or simultaneous X and Y movements. The slide track system is also engineered to resist roof level wind uplift forces, anchoring the entire system securely to the structure. To ensure compatibility with the project's overall design, MM engineers prepare drawings coordinating the SRC with adjacent construction. Following approval of coordinated schematics, exacting and precise details of every critical component of the seismic roof cover system are created using sophisticated CAD software. A key design component, the Seismic Glide Track Trolley, provides absolute precision and structural load-bearing capabilities. Following validation of movement range in the perpendicular or x-axis, full-scale working prototypes also test for longitudinal or y-axis movement and test the precision of the seismic glide track. To assist building designers in gaining local code authority approval and acceptance, every component of SRC is calced by an independent third-party structural engineer. Seismically designed structures with foundations below grade require free clearance around their perimeter. During seismic activity, perimeter moat joints allow the structure to move freely in the perpendicular or x-axis and the longitudinal or y-axis 
without colliding with adjacent soil or other grade level hardscaping. Perimeter moat joints may be designed to receive concrete infill. This design effectively disguises both the moat and moat cover system as a perimeter sidewalk or concrete apron. At intersecting elevations, such as this outside corner, moat joints experience simultaneous movements in the X and Y axis, known as combination movements. Seismically actuated hinges designed by MM engineers work in tandem to accommodate the combination movements. For each project condition, MM engineers prepare detailed design and construction drawings for use by the architect and engineer of record. Once initial design drawings have been carefully reviewed, MM engineers build full-scale working mock-ups to test the mechanical movement capabilities of the moat joint cover system. After mock-ups confirm the seismic moat joint's mechanical functionality, every component is calced by an independent third-party licensed structural engineer. These calcs assure the building code authorities that the seismic moat joint exceeds all applicable life safety requirements. During the construction phase, moat joint openings are field measured and as-built dimensions transmitted to MM engineers. Factory fabrication of the moat cover system is performed to the precise standards required to meet both performance and code requirements. After installation of the cover system and concrete infill, the seismic moat cover appears inconspicuously to be an ordinary sidewalk or concrete apron. During seismic events, interior joints and structures experience movement in multiple directions. Longitudinal movement, parallel to the joint, is called the y-axis. Expansion and contraction movement occurs perpendicular to the joint and is referred to as the x-axis. To overcome the challenge of y-axis movement, known as longitudinal shear, MM engineers developed a continuous, low-friction, structural slide bearing. To accommodate x-axis movement, the MM design team created an articulating seismic cam. The seismic cam provides intermediate support to the pedestrian cover, lightening its weight and reducing the coefficient of friction forces transferred to the structure during seismic events. Completing the floor subassembly and hiding the seismic cam is a heavy-duty surface cover. Next, wall and ceiling components are securely attached to the floor subassembly. The entire portal assembly now accommodates the X and Y axis movements as a single structural unit, allowing egress before and after seismic events. After completing conceptual design, MM engineers prepare detailed drawings of each component of the portal assembly. Full-scale mock-ups of the SCP system were constructed including the seismic cam, seismic slide bearing, and structural connections between floor, wall, and ceiling sub-assemblies. Mock-up tests validate the movement and structural capabilities of the completed assembly. Detailed shop drawings are prepared by MM engineers to demonstrate how SCP integrates into the overall building design and integrates with adjacent construction. Each component is calced by an independent, third-party, licensed structural engineer. Prior to the construction phase, MM prepares exploded isometric view schematics and provides training to the installation contractor. During construction, MM engineers provide field supervision and inspection to ensure the SCP is properly installed. MM Systems, the world's leader in expansion joints, has engineered and manufactured seismic joint systems for every project condition. Perimeter moat joints, disguised as ordinary sidewalks, allow the entire structure to move in multiple directions without damaging adjacent landscaping. The seismic recessed wall system hinges open during severe closing movement to avoid damage. A calibrated recoil mechanism returns the system to its normal position after seismic activity ceases. Seismic egress portals 
are a floor, wall, and ceiling expansion joint assembly for interior seismic joints that intersect egress corridors. MM Seismic Roof Cover System utilizes a unique seismic glide track that accommodates movement while resisting roof level wind uplift. Perimeter moat joints, seismic recessed wall system, seismic egress portals, and seismic roof covers have been successfully integrated into the most prestigious and sophisticated seismically designed projects in the world, providing proven functionality and safety before, during, and after a seismic event. Seismic Expansion Joint Systems, innovations from the engineers at MM Systems.